Bev's Video Kingdom is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. I'm going to be honest, I'm still jacked about last week. We covered Angus, and we had Charlie Talbert, who played Angus, on the pod. Yeah, yeah I'd say we've, we've, we always talk about drinking with the director, and we actually had a drinking with the director, but we have never had drinking with the star. And we had drinking with the We drank with the star. We drank with the star, which was it, that, it, kind of Actually, fun. we didn't drink with him because we didn't tell him in advance to get a drink, and so he, yeah, just, he just gave us, bad. and then he just gave us yeah. double birds for it, which is kind of <laughs> cool, too. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> got flipped off by Charlie Talbert. It was great. But, you know, it's like, it's weird because, like, you know how remember the old cartoon, the, the original Snow White. You know she's dancing around and, and like kind of the, with the birds and all that stuff. That's how Nate's been dancing around here all day. <laughs> yeah, I'm for real. real. I, honestly, I, it was a pretty big treat. So if you haven't listened to the Angus episode, first of all, if you haven't seen Angus, and it's a little bit of a cult movie, but it's from 1995. It's a, like a teen kind of drama comedy. It's got George C. Scott and and Kathy uh, Bates. Kathy Bates. Um, the Shermanator. And, and, and the Shermanator. Is it Chris Owen? Yeah. Chris Owens, yeah. Um, so, so it's a really fun, like, touching movie. Uh, it's It's got a lot of great things. So go watch it and then listen to the pod because it's it, it was a great episode. Um, so we did Angus last week, and one of the really great features, and we didn't even mention that James Vanderbeek is in it, who plays... Yeah, we didn't even yeah, the, about the, the, the beak has been getting a lot of run in our in our pod lately. Like it's kind of wild. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So 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 he's in it, and he's a great bully. Yeah. Oh well, he is. And so when we were trying to decide what draft to do, we were like, "Got to be most memorable movie bullies." But miss most memorable bully school age bullies. Yeah. So 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 it's school age or school related. Didn't we say that you could go like a teacher could be a bully? If, right. If you want to go that direction, but I, I wouldn't recommend. Oh, are you it. shaming me already? I mean, maybe. Well, yeah. Are, not- are you just mad because I've been bullying you for uh, thirty five years? Uh, are you sorry? You would just with your amazing physique? Is that <laughs> that's what's happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, your, your amazing physique things, did not intimidate bro. me. Well, I think the thing we wanted to avoid was things like horrible bosses. You know, like right. At that so we wanted to at least keep it in the well, spirit of the film. Harley Ermy uh, uh, in like Full Metal Jacket, Full Metal Jacket right? Like which that. is an amazing bully, but we, you know, keep it with the school age. And to me, it's like elementary through college, even. Yeah, you know, I, that I, I, age, I think I think college yeah. still is an extension. It right. works. That that works. Um, so so we're gonna do most memorable movie bullies, school age or related, and I believe Brad. You, you know what? Found, you stumbled upon a, a draft order. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, actually, you know, so I know some people from from our old local high school that I went to, I graduated from, and they're like, you know what? We really need some chaperones for for the prom. And I was like, ah, you know what? I I guess. And they were like, yeah, you know what? It'd just be nice to have a BVK member there because I mean, all the kids are really into it. We're so big. It's like, all right, okay. It, kids they're like, it'd be BBK. nice to have a celebrity there. So I show up as a celebrity chaperone, and, and, and the kids went wild. They were just so stoked. It was amazing. Crazy, like, it was like, BBK, like, and like, oh, my gosh, going BBK, wild. And so, BBK. and they were like, can we change who Prom King is? We want, we want. And I was like, no, 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 just keep it who it is. So I'm sitting there, and they're doing like their like, they're like prom awards, and, and um, they said, okay, uh, in in third place, I, and I was kind of concerned. I was like, "Why didn't they just say who the problem? Why did they have to say who's in third and second? I was like, gonna, you know, "There's some bullying going, on, I guess." But in third place, there was some kid named Scotch, and I was like, "How do you get the nickname Scotch when you're in high school?" But <laughs> this kid is is got the nickname Scotch, so I don't know I, if you need to go bully and beat him up or something. I'm, but because I'm fat, it's no, it's because yeah. you, you should have been like Zima. <laughs> <laughs> Boone's Farm, uh, but no, this kid was named Scotch, and 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 he got third place. So uh, that's, I guess, where Scotch is drafting us third place. And then they're like, in second place, Brad. I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm not prom king, and and they weren't even talking about me; they were talking about some other Brad. So that that worked out. And then they got to the prom king, 
And lo and behold, who actually did get prom king, Nate comes out from behind the curtains, and it was Nate got prom king, and, and so he like, was first place. The man with the greatest physique in freshman high school history. Yeah, they were like, they were like, how can we argue? He did not get, <laughs> he didn't get awarded prom king back in the day, so we're going to go ahead and give it to him. You no, know, and it was meaningful, and I gave about a thirty minute speech, and I'm take, I mean, I meant every word of it. Yeah, I'm so, not taking any of it back. I didn't realize BVK is doing really well in the high schools and uh, in our draft order. So third place, Scotch, second place, Brad in the first pick of the draft for the most memorable school age bullies is going to go to Nate. So, so this is one that like I feel happy and sad about because <laughs> it's a total obvious number one. Like Scott, Scotch, were you very the, happy not to have number one or were you excited or, or were you hoping for number I one? I wanted number one because I I, uh, I agree and I'll be curious to see if he agrees with me. Oh, I boy. actually have two to me that are, are one of ones. I, I so I, I think I know who your two are and I think you're gonna that, go with the third? <sighs> and I think the, I hope you just go out of left field. Yeah, no, me too. The, the, the one there's a clear number one here. Okay. I mean, there's probably a bully and he got game. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a, <laughs> that's going back to our college draft. And if you listen to that, that was one of the best number one picks of all time. <laughs> best, best, worst. <laughs> all right, Nate. Nate doesn't listen to the pod, so that joke just I, I literally it, it no legit, I watched about. it fly over his head and circle around for yeah, like I, five seconds, I, and Nate's just like, if I didn't catch it and like you really internalize it when we recorded it, I have no idea. What well, you're talking well about. first of all, it was the first time my brother gave not only an idiot but a moron. <laughs> he threw idiot <laughs> slash moron on our on our. Uh, uh, Tim Beck updates. We yeah. got the uh, Wait, who, we dra- got, who drafted from from. Zach. Oh my God, he doesn't even remember. He doesn't remember that. Zach, <laughs> what, what did he do? He got game for the most memorable college <laughs> as number one. He pick. took Tech U as the most memorable college. That one of the oh the, yeah the minor colleges and he got game. Oh yeah, that was a bad pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh mate, right. I love how you're on this pod, but you have no <laughs> no concern for it once it's done. <laughs> okay, so anyway. <laughs> Clear one of one has got to be Biff, uh, Biff Tannen from. I, I guess I'll go with the Back to the Futures, but Biff Tannen from from the back from Back to the Future. I mean, it, he's he's the quintessential, like the archetype bully, sort of big, meat heady, sort of mean, but kind of dumb mean it's just like it's he's just he's the deal and and, and it filters throughout all three of the movies it, in different, it, it, different, in different, ca- different and, types of bullies. types of and, him and, 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 and it's not all it, it's it's not he's not in it, the fact that he's a bully is integral to the movement of the story yeah right it comes in at multiple points in ways that are very important and on like on point and on brand and consistent with the character like and he played, he's played perfectly. Like it's yeah. just the roles played great. Again, like you said, in a lot of different, at a lot of different ages, in a lot of different situations, in a lot of different dimensions. I mean, it's just. I mean, we're, we're talking. He is a school bully, but when you're introduced to him, he's the bully to to Marty's dad. Right. right, and he comes in just as the biggest <clears throat> asshole. He wrecked, <laughs> he wrecked Marty's, he, he wrecked wrecked uh, uh, George's car. Was drinking a beer while he was driving and said he spills beer on himself. He's like, who's going to pay for this suit that I spilled right. beer yeah. on and had a when blind, I wrecked your car? Yeah, at a blind spot. They didn't know, he didn't tell him about. <laughs> it me it had a blind spot. <laughs> yeah, what did you, uh, it's, it's just perfect. so brutal, and he's just completely owning. Such a dick. That is what George kinda, McFly. That's what's cool about that pick is is you get him because obviously yeah. it meets the category because he's bullying the school age yeah. kids, but also I mean throughout the whole franchise you that, get to see what yeah. that guy turns out to be and yeah. like what else he can be in it's a just, variety of different great. ways. Yeah, what if he got stood well, up to? What happened? I and also know. when yeah, he is also actually like an ongoing of, bully. Yes. So yeah. No, yes. Anyway, that's, it's I a am, great number. I am not going to argue with that pick at all. Okay, good because that would be dumb. <laughs> I I am taking Zach's spot, so maybe I should. <laughs> he probably should. All right. So, so I think there's one that you guys are talking about that I think you guys think is the is the number two. But I'm gonna go maybe a different direction, or maybe you guys agree with this. And you know what? This might immediately uh, 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 hurt me here. But I'm gonna go with uh, every every bully has to have like his minions, and and you know what? This guy definitely had a minion. And Scott Farkas from A Christmas Story, he had yellow eyes. He, he just was, I mean, as cruel as can be constantly. And, and he had such control of the kids that he could just be like point at one of them and be like, here. And the kid would just slowly walk up to him knowing that they're going to take a beat down. And yet he just still would get it. And, and it's not until the, uh, the, uh, the snowball 
in the face that ends all well, of it. And he takes such a beating. Like, like <laughs> the beating looks so kind of brute out of brutally out of place in that movie. Like it's so bloody. Oh, he's screaming the entire time oh, and just it, like it all, just it like turns for like two seconds, it turns into a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just like, God, he's gonna kill Scott Farkas. But his laugh and his just oh, cruelty is yeah. and, and of course the narration that goes with it is always great. And and Scott Farkas is a grade A number one bully. I love it that you 100%. took that. Yeah, way yeah. Uh, too early. But way too early. Are you fucking kidding me? Because I honestly would have probably taken him probably first. Oh, that's a terrible choice. Great. I'm I mean, glad I'm you guys saying, are on the same page. But, okay, perfect. So that that, that yeah. makes me know. I think I know what Nate's was. So I'll I'll, I'll be probably, taking it before it gets back to Nate. So no, that's that's fine. I thought Scott Farkas was a great. I mean, again, it, Biff, Scott Farkas, those. It could have been interchanged at one. But is my so, point. So for me, I think there. I, I don't think Scott Farkas is in the in the group, and we're not going to over talk about this. But for me, like it quickly gets into a lot of very equivalent bullies after what I think is the the second pick. If if uh, I've got, I know, I've I got know, my two know, directions going, I'm hoping Scott go. takes one of them just so that it makes it easy for me. Okay. okay. So I had three people in my first round that I think of as home run first round picks, and then my. The one that's left for me, because those two were in my top three, is Johnny from Karate Kid. I typed it in before you even wrote it. <laughs> that was Johnny Lawrence. And that was Johnny Nate's Lawrence. other one. That's my other yep. one. Yeah. There you go. And I don't think that that's a one-of-one one competitor, but I do think it's a very it's a first-rounder solidly. I mean... The, 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 for me, the major detraction from this, and maybe like the single best like pivot here, would be to take Daniel, right? This is the big theory, is that... Was Daniel you, the bully? That Daniel was the bully. Oh, that there's. Have you guys seen the YouTube edit where they they yeah. re- restructure oh, yeah. it as as Daniel's the bully. <laughs> Daniel being the bully? But and, and then the other thing about Johnny is that he he actually becomes immediately apologetic, which that's not a, a good bully. Is the fact that yeah. he immediately is like, "I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry." Like he he, he completely yeah. like kind of. Although I do I, I I don't totally agree in the sense that like I think there's a there's a spot for like like humanizing the bully, right, is in some ways makes it a more interesting character. Actually, it's no, a direction I, to go. I think I fucked that up because actually it's the kid that that, that actually uh, uh, sweeps the leg that says he's yeah, sorry. Yeah, he says he's sorry. But Johnny But does Johnny like, kind of they, gives they, him some of his props Well, well at the, the beginning of two, right, like you kind of see a little more. I oh, because out, yeah, well, because they start so, out outside the doge uh, or outside the uh, the competition and that's when the. Uh, it's the, yeah, the, the sensei is like giving he's Johnny picking a really on Johnny's, time. Yeah, uh, so you yeah, kind of get some of that yeah. human character. But anyway, I, I think it's a great pick. It, it's definitely first rounder. Hey, Scotch. Yeah, buddy. A couple things I want to say. First off, you got your you got your next pick here, but also you're a two time draft participant. Also, two time draft winner. You, you're are you a hundred percent right now? Are you feeling pressure? My yes, because yeah, my my winning percentage is a thousand right now. And what I noticed was I was thinking about this today was the two times that I joined, Nate wasn't there. And this is the first time drafting against Nate. Yeah, and so I was kind of. What, what is that saying? What, well, what are you trying what to say? Was, what I was saying was. What are you trying to say here, Scott? So I was He's saying those are asterisks because the competition <laughs> no. was not up to snuff. What I'm, what I'm saying I'm, is. It's clear what he's saying. You know, he, he, he's a good drafter, and, and I filled in for him, and, and I won, you know, in his spot. And so now I'm filling in for Zach. Oh, man. Well, and I will so say this. Now, when, if I lose, when, it makes sense. When, <laughs> <laughs> I will say that's the type of ribbing that, that, that Scotch was dropping when he found out that, that Zach's not going to be here because he immediately <laughs> made a joke about Zach, which was great. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. In the text thread, and, it, was, it was beautiful. God damn it. I love Zach so much. And, um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Um, I also, I, you know, I don't know the, the judge nearly as well as you two, which is great. Which, but, of course, you, I had a, a very – you know, favorable judge of my brother, judge. So I, I guess, you know, there well, there's, there's, there's a lot of asterisks by a lot of these, <laughs> yeah. these drafts. So um, that's just the way it goes in the BBK. Thank world. you for stalling a little bit. Cause this is actually right here. This is a tough spot. Cause there's so many places I could go Yeah. that I, I hopefully, you know, I, I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do right now is think, well, maybe this one will drop to the next round. Maybe this one won't, you know, I, I do think that's where we're at. And so, there's some that I'm like, God damn it, do I want to reach or do I not want to reach right now? You should definitely reach. Ah. When in doubt, reach. Reach hard. Yeah. Reach deep. So I'm 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 gonna draft with my heart with with movies that I love. And uh oh, damn it. Just do it. I know what you're gonna take. I just typed it. Did, oh really? Oh, yeah. I, I can't wait to hear what you you wrote here. Um I'm gonna stay back from the computer so you can look at it when you after you pick it. It's actually it's it's a group of 
of bullies. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah. man, you really are I'm going hit in that you direction. Mm-hmm. There are two groups, and I can't wait to see which one you go to. <sighs> a Doyle rules. Oh my God, you did. That was early. I know, I know, but I just, I fucking, I, that movie is very special to me, and so I'm going with the O'Doyle family. O'Doyle rules from Billy Madison. I appreciate wait, wait, you. You watched it for the first time when we did it on the pod, right? Um, that, that was that was your first time. No, no. <laughs> that this movie was very important to me when I. They are memorable. Yeah. I am not. I would not take yeah. that away. Yeah, but I'm I'm feeling. I, I think really that was that right was now. amazing. Yeah. All right. Okay. I, that's that's not where I thought you were going, but I think you might have tucked one in the in the pocket that you're thinking that's going to show up later. But we that's was, what I'm we trying to see. do. I'm I'm, I'm I'm I might have miscalculated. All right. So, um, well, we're talking memorable. There is a scene in a movie that just as one of my favorite all-time scenes when it comes to just being an absolute bully asshole. And and this guy becomes the butt of a lot of jokes and he has some very funny scenes and they basically develop some of the later movies kind of around him. Like he was supposed to be kind of the douchey dicky guy that doesn't hang out with the main characters, but they decided like we have to have him as a I part of the right main where crew. You're going and it's also making me so happy. And I'm going to go with Stifler. Jesus Christ! From American you Pie. Guys, and I'm going to say like, his are introduction you scene to give me at, the draft? at his party, when when it follows him around, just talking to people at the party, and he's just saying some of the worst stuff to everybody. He opens the door, and there's all the kind of the dorky kids there. He's like, he just kind of laughs in their faces like, who the, the fuck, fuck are you? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> and then he talks to those girls. He's kind of being nice to them. And then he walks in, bitches. Like, he's just, oh, he's so douchey. And he puts the uh, the ex lax in, in shit breaks. Uh, oh, yeah. No, cappuccino. He's, he's a dick. And, and he's but, not the but, dickiest but, but, of dicks. But, he's, but he, it's, see, this is the thing, though, is like. He's not quite a bully because he's like your friend who's a dick. It's right. like you, we all have that guy that's like yeah, he doesn't quite know when not to cross the line, but he thinks he's just being funny. He's not trying to play a, like a power play on right. you. But he's being a dick to a lot he of like is. the, the he I, is, I, but. He's a dick to his friends, but he's also just an asshole to other people. And, and it seems like when you, when you get the vibe from everybody else that they all despise him. And now, Nate, you're going to choose I, one that I, I was going to choose, and it's going to make me mad. But I, whatever, I know your pandering ass is going to take it. So I know. Go I, ahead felt, and do it. I, actually, I felt bad. I actually after, don't think you do. I felt bad after my pick because I thought maybe I, I reached it. Now I feel better. So okay, so so this one is not one of like my personal favorites, but I don't know how you ignore in a movie called Mean Girls. The <laughs> See, I already typed girl. it in. I already typed it in. I almost went. Regina I, George. I, I almost I mean, grabbed Regina. Just, she, just she's, piss you off. she's so nasty. And like, I think one of the things that, that, that looking at and making my lists here, like pointed out to me is that there are a lot of categories because movies tend to be over male, right? Like historically and even fairly recently, like males just get more roles. They get media roles generally. Right. And some of that's changing. And bullies, right, we kind of think of when we think of it because we think of the violence around it as being right. sort of a male thing. But, like, chicks are mean. Yeah. The burn, <laughs> like, like, the burn bully, book. like, women that are bullies are can be really brutal. And this gets right to the point we were talking about last week on Angus, which is that you get, you know, the, 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 the brutalization of Angus is not entirely, it's not really physical because he beats up the bully. But the like, he's just ruthless. The emotional, right? yeah. The emotional toll is always and, the worst. And I'm not gonna. I don't want to like say who this is, but like when I, I'm thinking of a bully that I who I would think is one of the meanest people that I know, Brad Ari smirks. He knows. <laughs> I don't ever remember him physically getting into it with anyone, and I actually think most of the people he bullied probably could have like taken him. But he was like, he was just willing to be the meanest person that anyone knew. Yeah. The thing and I, I was like, that's and, and would would if you had one little thing about you would, that bothered you, he would pick at that. As aggressively as he could. And yeah. it didn't matter how, like, horrible it was to do. Yeah, you might have, like, a deformity or something, and he's going to just be making fun of that immediately. Yeah. Any, yeah. Without any no regret. empathy, no yeah. regret. So I think in some ways, like, looking past some of the female bullies is a real, like, a real oversight because and Regina. I, I almost took her, but I, I just figured why not, like, let you have, have, have it. Because I knew you would take it. I, I love the pick, and and my biggest thing about Regina George is the fact that when they're in the the, the auditorium 
and it's like, how many of you have been victimized or, or picked on by Regina George? And the entire it's every, every girl <laughs> lays their hand, and even the teachers. Yeah, so know? teachers about that. And, yeah. and and whenever you see somebody's relationship with their mom, and like anytime people are just dicks to their parents mm-hmm. too, like that kind of exposes them even as more of a bully. Like when like yeah. they're just like fuck you, parents. Like parents are trying to be cool or whatever, and, and she's just a dick to them too. And I can think of a couple of those too from yeah. in real life. You know, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. yeah, good, so, good pick, man. Okay, so so on the wrap, I'm going to go in a very different direction because I'm talking. I'm going to go straight up to the violence. <laughs> Okay. And this is Fred O'Banion from Days and Confused. <sighs> like, he's so hellbent on wanting to paddle those guys that it's like, and he's so perfect. It's such a well done role by a Ben Affleck that's unrecognizable yeah. early in his career. Like, I just, it's, it's. Well, he was a lot heavier, too. He's heavier, yeah. and he's kind of has this, like, and he plays it really well, really nasty, really kind of single-mindedly it's just great yeah. and it's a great it's a great role it's really like you know i think captures that era of like you know hazing really well it's it's perfect yep well and it almost typecast him for a second because then he goes to mall rats and he's he's, yeah, he's an a, absolute bully in mall rats too dick, yeah. and i was like is this gonna be what this guy's career arc is and obviously then it becomes batman and and other shit and <laughs> has a wild, amazing career. Good there, Will there, Hunting. There, there, there was Good Will Hunting. Is that the there, name of the his way. book? Batman and Other Shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So wrap it up. Oh, you know, might as right. Well, just send well, it my way now. It's time for sandwich time. And, and that's a good one. That is a good one. Well, let's see where you leave me. Anytime you have the bully that comes from like the elitist, the, the, the rich, the wealthy, and has that that feeling of, of superiority superiority over other people when they actually don't deserve it. That makes for a good bully because they're just the ones you root against viciously. And uh, uh, one of the big protagonists in all seven of the books and eight of the movies, Draco Malfoy, I knew it. <laughs> is just ruthless. He's mean to people because their parents weren't the right a uh, 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 lineage. He's mean to people just because of the way they look. He's mean to people in just all the ways that a bully is is supposed to be mean to people, and he's just a dick the entire time. So, so here's something I want to talk about with this pick, and and like I would say Harry Potter is a possible you know something from the Harry Potter universe is a possible pick in like seventy five percent of our drafts. Well, if you have seven books, you're going to have a lot so, of topics so this brought is, up. But, but, but not in our college draft. Okay, but, but, but yeah. <laughs> right, Brad? Uh, hey, Walter. Walter, hey, shout out, buddy. You know what? Hogwarts is not a <laughs> college, buddy. I mean, you can at me whatever you want to do, but, but I'm saying. Yeah, our buddy Walter from Last Call was incensed that we didn't put uh, Hogwarts in the college draft. Oh, so. and it was a conversation we had actually after Scott I mean, Beck's uh, 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 show when he was playing at Last Call. And then the best is that his wife, Kendra, the next day, on Instagram, post just a question to just people: Is Hogwarts a <laughs> uh, a college? And she just had a little poll: Yes or no. And the no was like destroying. It was like it was like <laughs> okay, ninety something uh, percent in, in, no. In Walter's defense, though, it, do we know of any wizarding colleges? Because I don't think they exist. I think you go through Hogwarts and you're like done. So all that shit goes bad before we ever get to find out like what the, the I, I think I think there's a better argument for this than we acknowledge. But I, I think you're right. So it's you're supporting right. Walter. I'm saying it might incorporate college. but OK. <laughs> anyway, so here's what I want to say, though. I think we underpick Harry Potter. And I don't, I'm trying to think if there are other maybe Lord of the Rings is like this or there's some others. But for me anyway, and I, I love the books. Like I, I'm a huge, huge Harry Potter book fan. I really love the movies too, but I watch them after the books. And for me, picking things from Harry Potter feels hard because it feels like I don't, I, I can't totally give it the credit to the movie because the books are so, like, so universal. So many people know the books, have read the books, think of the books as being like foundational relative to the movies. So I think sometimes that comes up on this draft is like. You know, I think Draco Malfoy, if we look at like a character irrespective of whether it's from a movie or a book and we say, you know, from any universe, I actually think Draco goes higher because like you don't give it the knockdown for having been a book first. And so I think sometimes on the pod, I, I just it, it occurred to me that I like when I thought about Draco, I was like, I really love that. It's a great pick, but I don't want to pick it too early because it's really the book. I don't Fair know. enough. Yeah. I've never read the books. I've seen the movies, and Draco's a little dickhead. And they cast. They, <laughs> it, it was like yeah, it was like a, it was like a Joffrey esque 
uh, 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 casting because you just see him. His face just makes you hate him. He has a great sneer. Yeah, you you mean Joffrey from uh, from From Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Which is, I mean, he would probably be number one if you could if Uh, you could draft TV shows. Thought too. Yeah, he's just terrible. Oh, he's one of the most evil people ever. I loved him on 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 the screen for sure. I mean, he didn't. He might might have died. I don't know. Oh yeah. Spoiler alert: If you have not watched, which (laughs) actually one of my friends, his his wife was just going through. Watching, uh, watching for the first time Game of Thrones, and I was just like, she knows so many like the things just from pop culture. Right. See, see, funny enough though, I waited, but she's still enjoying it. I didn't watch it until the series was over. I know, and I didn't actually have it ruined. Partly because it's so complicated, you can't remember any of the shit anyone says anyway. Was it right. ruined it, without, when you watched the ending? And then you're. I didn't think it was as bad as everybody else, but yeah. all right. So, so, are you you uh, rippy rapping? Yeah. Did um, we give you a, that? Was a lot of stalling. A lot of stalling. I appreciate that a lot. Um, okay. So, when I think of a good bully, and this this is could be interesting because we we did say school aged bullies, but didn't necessarily say they both had to be school aged. And when I think of a good bully, and somebody who somebody fears, and they don't even want to walk down the street at a particular time, I think of Chris Gardaki in the movie Step Brothers. And he makes him eat the white dog shit and put his tongue on the white dog shit. So I'm going with Chris Gardaki and Step Brothers. Okay, so wait a second. How are you justifying this? Because they're in school. Like the, the, so Chris Gardaki is their elementary kids. And the Step Brothers, I'm saying, it's, you said school-age bullies. Okay. You saying it doesn't count? Oh, no. no absolutely. Oh, Please, for the love of God, write it down. Okay. I, I, want him to, I want him to have this pick. Okay. Please. Oh God! Any he puts other his weird... tongue on, on the white dog shit. Any other picks that nobody's going to understand that you could throw in for your rap? It's Chris, you Chris Gardaki. <laughs> we Chris got Gardocchi. it. It's on the board. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And put Step Brothers in there to make sure you guys know <laughs> Oh, I yeah, sure did. Exactly. Yeah. When he YouTubes it, he'll he'll see what's up. Look, I'm <laughs> I'm channeling YouTube my inner assist. Zach. I love it. I love and it. And I'm picking from the heart because that shit is fucking funny as hell. I, I love it that you picked that. And so great. I'm I'm rooting yeah. for you. All right. And then. Uh, Let's keep it rolling with picks that you guys won't agree with or understand. Stan Gable, Revenge of the Nerds. I actually have that one on my list, and it, I, I don't think I would have taken it next, but it would have been in the conversation. Yeah, Stan Gable, he's just he's such a prick. Yeah. He, he fucks them over in every possible way. They they have pigs show up at their party they're going to have with with UN yeah. Jefferson and everything. Mm-hmm. They they he's on the council and and is kind of keeping them from being a fraternity. Um, and yeah, Stan Gable is, and he plays it. It's played perfectly. Played so great. Yeah, no, it's, it's so, a great. That's yeah. a great pick. Um, yeah, thank you, Scotch. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a beautiful rap right there. Take some, take some good picks. I really did it. I really did it. Um, you know what? So, if you're gonna make a movie, I mean, it's, I know it's it's based off of a, a Dangerous Liaisons as the actual original, but uh, when you want to do a high school version of it, and you're gonna call it Cruel Intentions, yeah, that's good. It's gonna be about a bully. It's going to be about a bully. And the bully at heart here is uh, Catherine Mertul. And I don't even know how to say her last name, whatever. But uh, Catherine, that is played by Sarah Michelle Geller, And she is just a, a scheming, conniving, doesn't give a fuck if it causes all sorts of drama, whether it's family drama, whether it's friends drama, whether it's uh, uh, parents, interracial drama. Like she just, she just goes for all the. She's just playing all the cards. She's very manipulative. I mean, like the ultimate manipulator. Kind of a quiet, like a little bit of a quiet bully. And and but just doesn't care if like basically she's going to cause somebody to like to fuck up their life or, oh. or get killed or or whatever. Yeah. And and at the end of this, the, the last scene in that movie, and when they play Bittersweet Symphony, and they find her little crucifix with the cocaine in it, and like she's just getting exposed in front of everybody, like. I don't think I've ever really like rooted harder when it's like, fuck yeah, she's she's getting hers and she's now exposed and this is awesome. It was a great song matchup, great editing, uh, uh, and I really liked it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Catherine from uh, Dazed, uh, Dazed and Confused. I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> Cruel Intentions because it's such a uh, it, it's a very great bully character and it's the name of the movie, Cruel Never Intentions. Uh, Glad not, you're not judging. It's not called Bully <laughs> Intentions, just FYI. So not exactly the name of the movie. Because bullies aren't cruel? Is that what you're saying? No. I mean, you know, sometimes. Okay. So you guys left me a couple of very good picks, and I'm pleased. 
And actually, I thought about one of these earlier and thought, I think it's going to fall, and it did. And the reason it fell was because you guys took the wrong Christmas bully in the first round. The correct Christmas bully is Buzz McAllister. Buzz is a terrible bully. That's a big brother. Family family members don't count. Or a, a false, hard false. I mean, two He's people the arguing of against bullies. you. I, I, you know what? That was on a discussion. I was talking with with my wife, and and we both kind of you know what? Family situations are different. Big totally brother versus little disagree. brother. That's, the, it, it is it is bullying, bullying. In, in, at a, as a definition, but it's not what you would consider a real bully. I would consider a big brother that is. Where, so you were, you were a bully. Bit. Were you a bully to, to your sister? Absolutely. Okay, but I wouldn't <laughs> pick you because it's just what a big brother does <laughs> yeah. to you a, a younger sibling. You wouldn't pick me because I would bully you. Okay, so I'm just to double down on this argument. Okay, I, I'm taking Chet from Weird Science. See, that's wrong to me too. He is a total dick, and he bullies his little brother and his little brother's friend. I'm I'm not going to argue with that ruthlessly. Okay. And but, you, so you think being a big brother ex- absolves you from bullying? No, I mean, for the for the for this in the spirit of the draft, I, I personally I wasn't going to go there because he is related. But I mean, I love the character of Chet. I'm not going to like say it's horrible, but um, I, I mean, he's an asshole of all assholes. Asshole, but it's but just, he's his brother. But again, the the family stuff to me is is not exactly what you want. I, you know, I, I've been wrong before, bullies. and I might be wrong again, but I might win this draft. I've, I, I'm rolling the dice. If both of those, my, my, if our, all my eggs. If our judge has no issue with them being family members at all, yeah, you're you're fine. You're probably going to win this fucking draft. But uh, <laughs> he's already if he's I was, already mounting a defense. If, if I, I love if, it. If I was the I judge, love it. If I was the judge, you you. Would have lost some serious. Guess points it's a good thing you're drafting on this right. side, then. That's right, man. Yeah, didn't see cruel intentions and and has a lot of issues with man. Zach might have got a win here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, so I, wow. I actually audibled off of my list, kind of as we were we were talking about this, and I, and I was starting to decide which way should I go, and now I'm very conflicted because there's some very good bullies here left. Yeah, and. I think the one that I came up with is going to be better than anything on my list because I can go one that's just, it's the more emotional, dramatic, and I don't want to go so much in dramatic. I like I like the the, the comedy bullies when they usually kind of get uh, uh, their comeuppance in, in, in the end. Yeah, and Hazing's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> in Step Brothers, it was. <laughs> oh, so I think my choice here, and there's going to be some good also rans once we get to mm-hmm. Scott's final pick here, but I'm going to go ahead and. Do a little 180 here, and I'm going to take Matt from Encino Man. Because Matt and Encino Man, he has the right Sorry, looks. Who? Wait, who? In what movie? I mean, I've seen Encino Man. I have no wow. memory of a character named Matt. Shush! You don't remember Matt? He beats I up. I don't remember Encino Man. Uh, I barely. See, that's I, the problem. I liked Encino Man. Encino Man is a is a is a very much a, a, a cult classic. I it watched it back great, in the day and I loved it, but, but he I don't remember it. Is a hockey I player. Don't remember a bully. He's a dickhead. He he beats up Brendan Fraser and then I mean he get he ends up getting beat up back. Oh, but, no, but yeah. he swings on him for no reason and uh, uh, he's a dick to to uh, Sean Astin constantly. I mean, he grabs it like when he, when Sean is just kind of halfway, halfway talking to his girlfriend and he immediately comes over and just grabs his ear and starts just yanking him across to talk to him. He's the typical prototypical high school bully. And, uh, it's a great pick if you know the movie and if you don't No, you're right. You, I'm convinced that's a great, great pick. Nice He's got the great up. look too. He's just got the bully look. He had the little spikes, like the little flat I top. I would totally believe you if I knew what he looked like. Ah, oh, well, you know what? So. The problem that you aren't, aren't well versed in movies, that's, that's just an I, issue. That's an issue. That's true. I wish you, you guys. Know, I, I've seen, I hadn't seen Godfather, but obviously you're not as, 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 as well versed in Encino Man. And you know what? I think those are on par. <laughs> oh, I've seen Encino Man many times. I just don't remember there being a notable bully in it. <laughs> Well, there is, and he's amazing. He's in one scene. Okay, great. Oh, he's in lots of scenes. <laughs> he's the the, an, the 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 antagonist the entire time to Sean Astin because he's with the girl that Sean Astin's pining for. Uh, yeah. So, so, so says <clears throat> whatever. I um, it's it's interesting because you guys give me a lot of shit about my list so far, and I wish you guys were better at drafting because now I have way too many picks to choose from, <laughs> and I can't decide where to go. Um. Because I have I have one that's super fucking like you think of him he's horrible he's bad 
super memorable. And I, I know we didn't really even throw this out. Is it memorable or best or whatever? I'm kind of in I'm, this category. I'm, it's memorable. I'm thinking memorable in a lot of ways. You know, and I was like, well, there's some funny ones I could go with here. Go for the laugh. Um, I think the door's open here, so I, can, I might be able to try to win. But God dang it, um, do I wear the T-shirt? You picked the wrong weird science bullies because the real bullies are Ian and Max in that because they actually bully the, the the guys, you know, by dumping Slurpees on them. Sure. Um, Chet is more memorable, but is he's the brother? I don't fucking know. I'm gonna go with something that might be kind of weird, but you know, it, it, you know I'm in his head when he's still talking about my last pick, man. It's, of course, it's <laughs> I'm like I'm in, I'm deep. I got I'm, it, I'm sucks, it sucks to lose a draft, I'm, and, and I'm the fact rent, that he's gonna have to feel I'm, that today I'm it's, it's really free. hurting. I'm him. rent free in that. You right. can't be under. I mean, two two and zero is cool, but the, but to go three and zero would have been a challenge. The, be, the best part is, no matter what, my winning percentage will still be better than both y'all. So you can fuck <laughs> off. No matter what happens, if I lose, winning percentage is still king. So. But I'm gonna go. This is gonna. I'm gonna channel a little bit of Zach here. The type of feel of a movie. I'm going with a fucking a guy that just they feared, and there was a major showdown at the end, and they stood up to him. The movie Stand by Me. That's a good one. Ace Merrill, Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer always looked like a bully. Dude, he just he has just, like the natural He's just bully a nasty look. looking motherfucker. He bullied all his his little buddies he had. He bullied everybody. Everybody feared him. He and kept the he kept the makeup on between Stand By Me and Lost Boys, basically. Totally. Like, oh, he's, 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 he's basically like the looked, identical yeah. dude. Yeah, it, it's a it, I, that's a great call. Yeah. So uh, that's that's my final pick is, is Ace Merrill. Wait a minute. Don't you have a double? Did, what was doing? How, you are we drafting seven rounds tonight? We, what are we doing? Well now I did I did hear from someone. Wait, hold, hold on. So so Josh from so my buddy Josh from Colorado, he's he's actually he's brought this up a few times. Like that, you're supposed do, to do a six. Why round? do you go five rounds? It's so stupid. Because we said fifteen picks is the most similar to sixteen picks, rather than going uh, uh, eighteen yeah. picks. Anyway, because so. the, the the person that's first should get the last pick if you're doing a real snake draft right. in a fantasy league. I agree, but. That's not what we're fucking doing, Josh. So, right. so wait, wait, shut the fuck up, Josh. <laughs> we, love we, we love you, Josh. Actually, Josh, we love all your input that we get uh, from Scratch. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah. So wait, hold on. Did I already take five people? Yes. You sure did. Yes. Who did I take? Uh, a bunch of trash. So <laughs> okay. we, we'll talk about that once we okay. get our, our judgment. Uh, I, I, I was still trying to go with to figure out where I was going to go. All right. Also, Rans. So if, if I've I had, got a bunch, if, man. If I'd been allowed, if I if I had gone the direction of like allowing a teacher or administrator, for me, Mr. Vernon from Breakfast Club. Or yeah. Principal Rooney from Ferris Bueller are both great, like bully administrator teachers. Oh, he's such a dick when he yeah. gets on the bus at the oh, end. Such <laughs> a dick. So good. Uh, uh, I like that. I, and I, it is interesting. Nobody, nobody picked the no t-shirt, t-shirt, which is great because that would be super pandering for our, our judge, which I, I respect. Yeah. I, I, I guess I, my, my argument there would simply be. He's not the most memorable because not enough people. He's not in the lexic, you know, like he's just not in the lexicon. For Fair enough. People. But I like just, I love him. Yeah, he's no, he's no he, Matt from Encino Man for sure. I'll tell you what though, <laughs> of 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 all the bullies, like he's got. I never thought that someone would have a more punchable face than Vanderbeek in that movie. Well, he's just pointing but, his little smile out dude, there at him. God dang it! I wanted to just <laughs> knock his shit out of. Well, you me. need to go yeah. watch Encino Man because you will change your mind because Matt from Encino Man has the most punchable face you've ever. Nobody seen. likes your pick, Brad. Stop. <laughs> Scotch, Nobody there's a lot of movies it. you have not seen where you're just, oh, wow. Wow, that's the first alarm on Bev's here. Yeah, yeah we never had the BBK we, we alarm. Through it because that was a hot BBK, take. In the BBK outdoor <laughs> studio, sometimes crime happens, you know what I mean? When I was talking earlier, I was talking about the uh, 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 dramatic roles. When you have Matt Damon being an asshole, anti-Semitic, and school ties. And again, picking on Brendan Fraser. Why the, why the fuck is Brendan Fraser? Brendan Fra- Easy for you to say. No, I can't say it. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan Fraser getting picked on. I was like, what the hell? In Sino Man and in School Ties, he's getting picked on. Yeah. And uh Matt Damon, who would have thought like he come he his one of his first roles, he's just an absolute like white supremacist, like piece of shit. And then later on he's gonna be some uh amazing roles that we all love. Matt Damon. So Matt Damon. Nobody got Heather Chandler <laughs> from the Heathers. I mean, yeah, Which, you could, I mean, you could kind of take him as, I guess, a, as a. Well, I crew. think she's the meanest, though, um, and also uh, Courtney from Bring It On, which is a, a really great, like, classic cheerleading bully, which I like. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't know the name of the character, but Nancy Allen is the actress in the original Carrie movie. Oh, she's, oh, I think she's Chris yeah. Ferguson. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, she was gnarly enough to make her murder everyone. So that's, that's pretty, pretty bad, bad bully. bully. Yeah. yeah. 
one of my favorite movies of all time, and and he's just he's very douchey, but he's not really necessary bully. He's just a douche, and that's Troy Perkins from The Goonies. Um, uh, Troy, I didn't even think about Troy. That's a good one. Troy's a great high school like rich kid whose parents yeah. are all like he he fits that whole archetype, but like well, he's just not but bully the, enough to like the actual kids. He says some talk. He saw, he talks some shit. Though. One of the worst lines ever, though. You. Goonies, Annie, <laughs> you Goonies. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so what about Debo from Friday? Are they not school? I mean, uh, are they that too would old? not have fit whatsoever? I don't think so. I love it. I love Debo. Love Friday, but it's yeah. too old. It's my bike, punk. <laughs> um, oh, dude, that that meme uh, as a, as a Niners fan throughout the last season. I mean, anytime Debo catches a pass, runs through a couple people and stuff. Oh, that uh-huh. that that. that Meme is going out constantly. <laughs> so, so, I met, so I mentioned the the correct word science picked in my opinion is Ian and Max, which is um, uh, freaking uh, Iron Man, uh, Robert Downey. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And so him and, and and the other guy, they literally like they pants them at the very beginning when they're sitting there like talking about how they'd like to go out with all the all the gymnastic chicks and, and then yeah. they, they pull their pants down in the middle of everybody. So, um, I love that pick. Hocus Pocus, uh, it's it's just almost too corny for me. Ice and Jay, I think that's what their names are. They're they're the douchey kid that, that pick on the kids in Hocus Pocus. It's it, I don't know, just too corny. Not not aggressive enough for me. Uh, what about Mick McAllister from Teen Wolf? Mick, he's kind of a, almost has like a Stan from Revenge of the Nerds look to yeah, him. Yeah, and he yeah. he like he's like, he's, oh yeah, I killed your parents or something. They're on my mantle or whatever he says. Like he's talking about hunting. Like, yeah, his, uh. his mom was <laughs> killing their chickens, so she shot him or something. Yeah, yeah. some bullshit. Uh, um, that's kind of ruthless. How about the the uh, the tots guy in Napoleon Dynamite? Napoleon, give me your tots, because he ends up like like sh- like. Grabbing his neck and like he does kind of yeah he 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 definitely bullies and them. he bullies the the nerdy kid about the bike. I kept trying to think of who the bully was in in Napoleon Dynamite and I couldn't remember. It was yeah. it was the Tots guy and I looked it up and on the IMDb he has no other. I, I couldn't even figure out who he was because they had a bunch of names. Well, yeah, they, have they 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 recruited a bunch of like high school friends yeah. and things like that. So I just called him the Tots guy. The and, Tots guy. He's yeah. yeah not I mean memorable but I don't know if there's just enough of him. I didn't draft him. So yeah. there's a tiny role. This is like there's not enough of him, but like. Like similarly in Superbad, the guy that kind of bullies them a couple times, he's the weirdest looking bully. He has that weird, terrible, slightly long hair and glasses, but he's like kind of big and built. You don't remember this from Superbad? He kind of he can he and two other guys confront them on the sidewalk, and it's just the weirdest bully look. Like hmm. you got to go back and check That's this not out. What I remember about that film. If, if we if we're allowing college, you could have gone the quarterback from uh, the Water Boy. I mean, oh, that's a good one. He, yeah. t- I mean, at the end, they, at the end yeah. they become friends, but I mean, for the most of the movie, he's just a straight yeah. dickhead. Yeah. Uh, um, what a boy! What about Tracy Flick from Election? Never saw Reese it. Witherspoon. Never saw. She kind of bullies the teacher. Yeah, she kind of a little bit mad. I mean, he he just more. She just more drives him crazy. Like, I mean, I, I wouldn't say. I mean, she's just kind of trying to get away with shit, and like she's that Miss Perfect. I don't. I don't. Not typical bully, I, I, I uh, guess. Not typical, but you know, so also nobody, nobody picked her. One of my favorite, <laughs> uh, a movie I really enjoy is is Can't Hardly Wait. Yeah, oh, Jennifer, jo- Jennifer Love Hewitt. I thought about Mike, Mike. Dexter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's he screws with with the. Uh, he does. Yeah, and that's a, that would have been actually a really. So he actually solid trip, pick. trips the val- the, the, the the main yeah. nerd guy at, yeah. at the graduation. Again, that that movie was almost like cartoonish. Though. It was like everything yeah. was just so like every role was so like going to be like the, the the biggest version of like that particular type of high school. But but, kid. It, right. but it plays out. It's it's so fun. Like it is it a pretty plays fun out. movie. It's you a know, fun the whole, watch. Them the guy getting locked in the bathroom and him. Like getting green, too, yeah. too drunk yeah. and like you know taking the mic and and you know it's just like it's so over the top but it's perfect. I don't know. I, I really like that movie. And a couple other random ones like uh, Flash from the Spider Man series. He's, he's kind of a bully in a way, but not really. I didn't. I, that was low on my list. But Magnus from Rushmore. Oh, oh good one. Yeah, he really spit, he's, one. he's yeah, at one point he he spits like a, a little dart into the back of the neck of one of these kids. <laughs> Well, and he yeah. also just, I mean, drop, he drops Jason Schwartzman, like, just, like, just vicious, just broke, like, breaks his nose, bloodies his nose. I mean, just, he's, yeah, he's a uh, asshole. Yeah. I, so I, I love that pick. Damn it. That wasn't even on my list. That kind of so, pisses me yeah, off. There's a, I, uh, there are a lot that, that I think, you know, if, especially if you interpret bully, you know, a little bit broadly and you allow for a little less screen time, there's a lot of good ones. But, all right. So, so we've got our guest judge, 
uh, who is Tony, who was with us on the Angus pod. He's a huge fan of Angus, and he's out visiting from the East Coast. We got some West Coast hospitality for him. And we've got some West Coast hospitality. I felt like for this kind of, of draft, the only thing to do was obviously to stuff him in a locker. So I, I borrowed a friend's key. I went up to our old high school, took him right on into the football team room, and I just I crammed him into a locker. He fit surprisingly well. Like okay. it, he felt like well, well, yeah, you got to get your pads in there and everything. The locker is in, in the comfy, football. You know, yeah. it smelled a little bit, yeah. but you know, but, oh, I love that locker room smell. There's yeah. something about it. Yeah, just, so it's, got a, it's got a distinct smell no matter what locker about, room you're in. He's been in there about two hours, so I'm going to go grab him, and then we'll, you know, once he recovers, we'll get him here for a draft. It's so nice. we, you, you basically bullied him. I wouldn't put it that way. That, that seems I mean, harsh. That kind of seems like a bully to me. I mean, I did make fun of him a lot. On the way to the locker, and then for about ten minutes when I put him in there, but I felt like it was a good natured. Well, considering like all the bullshit you guys have done to me, is it like <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty it's, light? It's, it's kind of nice to I see it was fun, at fair. least at least to see a little bit of abuse. Um, yeah, you know, I felt like well, it was... we we tried to trick you that one time when when Tim was the judge and, yeah. and we tried to lie that that we had him just sitting back drinking beers and we found out that that actually wasn't the case. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, so we tried it. We tried to trick like, oh no, actually you're the only one that gets treated like that. But we just we kind of bully right. whoever the judge. Well, is. I'm gonna go grab Tony, give him a quick swirly, and then he'll uh, be here to judge. All righty. California has the largest population in the United States and the site of some of the most famous true crime cases in history. But there's more than meets the eye to the crime in California. Join Sean, Jessica, and Charles on the California True Crime Podcast as they cover crime both infamous and overlooked from around our state, while looking at the deeper history that goes beyond beaches and movie stars. Okay, so Tony, I hope I hope you know that by putting you in that smelly locker and then giving you a swirly in the in the boys' bathroom, I, that was just I was just trying to be. We were just we were having. I fun, did not right? know that you really wanted to emulate Rick Stanford. <laughs> Come on, man, really? Well, I, I mean, between selecting the 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 uh, the way I selected the draft order by going to the, high, I think we're spending way too much time at high schools. Hard, <laughs> I hard, hard disagree. I think we, we're not spending enough. <laughs> Uh, okay, so so you you we you got our draft a three person five rounder of the most memorable bullies. You have a system. I do have a. System. Can you tell us about the Tony system? So the Tony system basically just takes all the movies that y'all have put out there, which I've seen actually all of them on this list. So okay, and okay. I just took way better than Scotch Beck. <laughs> and I just I, I'm not going to argue with that at all. <laughs> and I just basically put them in the order that I felt like was the most oh, uh, and then awarded the baddest points? of the baddest will get the most points. And that one that I deemed, eh, you know, it just progresses from. So it's like okay, 15 so, points so for the, the the bulliest of the bullies. Yes, and down one to point one point for the, the worst. So you so you took the you took the universe to be the 15, and then you ranked the 15, and you were like, you pretended like they weren't on teams, and you're like, okay, how many people got? Right. I, I like so team that. one got this many points. That's, team two got this many points. Simple elegance yeah. right exactly. there. Yes. All right. So here, I, so I want to before you announce teams, though, I want to ask this question. Okay. Was there any pick that would have been in your top 15 that wasn't picked? Uh, several, yes. Okay, g- several. G- g- let me hear your several. All right, my several would have been including uh, Rick Sanford. He is not in there. We, nobody <laughs> took the T-shirt. Nobody we, took we, we, we it. And I'm just like, that. I'm just wondering why, because I felt like, you know, in the last couple of drafts, I felt like there were people that were mentioned in the movie that was made, but were not mentioned in the draft. Uh, but there have been times in like the earlier pods where I feel like there was somebody from that movie putting the t-shirts on. Like, yes, yeah, so so, yeah. so so that we we it kind of goes back and forth. We sometimes take the t-shirt. I, I think we talked a little bit about this, and the logic I think was even though after watching Angus last week, he's a great bully. Right, it's clear that he's not like it wasn't widely enough known to think of him as being kind of like this. It, 
I, pop and I could see wide. your reasoning behind it. Because I, yeah. I personally love it. But I love, I mean, obviously, yes. Yeah. So I would have loved put, to have put, put Rick Sanford on my list. Okay, so what else? What else you got so, for top 15? So top 15 would have included a, uh, what I would have called the Baltimore Special. All right. If you've seen a movie called Hairspray. All oh. right. Oh. Uh, there is a mean, uh, I mean, she was a pretty bratty girl named Amber Von Tussle. Basically gave Tracy Turnblad, the heroine of the story, so much grief, laid out so many insults, and it was just, she made Tracy just try to, and she just made, tried to make her feel like shit, but Tracy wasn't having it. So I encourage you to see either the old classic, uh, old classic um, Hairspray, or even the new one with Zac Efron. I, don't, I, I haven't it's seen them, time. but you I know. Need, you need okay. to see both right. of That's them. That's a blind too. spot, I admit. Yeah, that is a blind spot right there. Okay. All right. Uh, another one that I would have mentioned was uh, Toy Story. Sid? Sid. Uh, what that's happened, not Brad? A bad one. What happened? Man? <laughs> I, I, it's in your wheelhouse, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that, yeah, how did you? You didn't even put that in the also ran. He's, he's, just just a, he's addicted to toys that he doesn't actually think are real. He just blows up shit. Like, I, but, we blew up a lot of okay. shit. We shot Lego yeah. guys with BB guns and but, but you, blew you them know, up with pipe you, bombs. You know, Sid was bullying everyone else that he got a chance to bully. Oh, no, he had a fucked up life. And I think he probably was like one of those kids that probably got picked on at school. That's why he's blowing shit up at Newsflash. home by himself. Most bullies, get, bu- bullies are getting picked on somewhere. That's what I'm saying. That's why he, he he the only thing he can bully is his toys because at yeah. school every kid's oh the white trash punk kid hey, and they're just mean to him. Remind me in that movie, the toys are real or they're not real. Oh good, they're real. So he's a bully. Great. Okay, moving <laughs> yeah, on. Right. <laughs> I'm just I'm just surprised by you, Brad. I mean uh, I mean you picked the freaking Muppets in the Office Space <laughs> Pod. I you know what? Oh, Muppets are, I'll stand by the Muppets. Yeah, we know you will. <laughs> Uh, all right, so you want to give us team number? Th- give us the third place team. Third place team belong to the team with Johnny Lawrence. Oh, the just give me the team Doyle number. Doyle clan, Chris Gardaki, Stan Gable, Ace Merrill. Who's that? Scotchback. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Team three. Team three. I'm channeling my inner Zach. All right. <laughs> so the reason that hey Scotch, are you undefeated? I'm not undefeated, buddy. Uh, okay, yeah, just uh, was wondering. Two and one doesn't sound nearly as good as <laughs> How, two and that. Uh, have you crunched the numbers on my winning percentage yet, buddy? <laughs> uh, you're 66%. Yeah. yeah it's Better six, than six, your 666. Six, 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 six. Nice yeah. work. Yeah, yeah, nice there you work, go. Satan. Okay. <laughs> so I, I definitely love to pick with Johnny Lawrence. Johnny Lawrence is basically the baddest, one of the baddest dudes that you ever wanted to you know what? You, what number did Johnny Lawrence get in your? And do you have your? He ranking? got number two actually. So he got he uh, got fourteen no, points. He got overall. fourteen points. So you started so great. You started yeah. awesome. Good strong start. But then I mean, it kind of fell off a lot by there. He kind of fell off a cliff. I right went for there. comedy, and that th- and hearing your scoring system makes total sense. So, <laughs> right. Because O'Doyle family, I mean, you're not. They're not a mean, feared. Well, I mean, group. like. In all seriousness, the Oedoy clan was the second one that I picked off your list. They were at number eight. Okay. That's all right. They bad. were in the middle. So they okay. were in the middle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Chris Gardaki, I couldn't take seriously because these were two big dudes. They were adults. <laughs> all right. Dude, they still made them eat white dog shit. I, I'm just know, saying. But still. They still right. ate the white dog shit. Nah, no. I, 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 I feel they like, didn't want to walk down the street. I feel oh, like someone made this man. point. I'm not yeah. sure. I'm not sure. Uh, okay. All right. So that's team. That's team. Stan, Stan Gable. That's third place. Uh, Stan Gable. Yes. But at the same time, he was just like a, I don't know. He, I, I just couldn't take Stan Gable seriously. Mm-hmm. He was like on the level of like, uh, the, the high flutin guy from accepted, you know, I, have you ever heard of that? I mean, oh, have you ever seen accepted's that? It's a good call actually. Yeah. There was, some that was mentioned in the I'm glad I didn't yeah. think about it. Cause I would have picked somebody there and then I would have gotten low points like uh, scotch. <laughs> okay, great. Um, so team number two, team number two, well, or, or I should say second place team. Just, okay. Give us just the team number. Oh, second place team. Yes. All right. Well, just so you know, Team 3 finished with 32 points on my... Uh, okay, okay, okay. So okay. before so, you tell us, yeah. we want to hear what were the scores of the other two teams without without spoiling any winners. Uh-huh. So 32 points for the third place. What were yes. the, the points totals for the other two teams? Uh, is 37 and 51. Oh, oh holy shit. shit. Somebody killed it. Wow. Somebody, Somebody really crushed. killed it on my list. So, all right. 37 points <sighs> belongs to... The team with Scott Farkas, Stifler, Draco Malfoy, 
Catherine, and Matt from Asino Man. All right. You know, I love Scott, Scott Farkas. Like, I mean, you, you, you just stole my heart with the Christmas story because that is actually one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. And he's a pretty nasty dude. Yeah, he's a very nasty dude. Where was dude. he on your list? He is actually, uh, he was fourth. Okay, so pretty good. Where was the guy from Encino, man? Was it Matt? It is Matt. And he is on the lower half of things. He finished with six points, which makes him... Uh, Better than five of your uh, piece uh, of shit picks. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe he was the... I, I can't believe you didn't give him negative points for that choice. No, no. Actually, I love Matt from Encino, man. Shush! Oh. Shush! Yes. <laughs> see, I know exactly iconic. what you're talking about. And Scott, about. who says he didn't see the movie, also oh, he's like, oh, that word. guy's a meme. Nah, I'm like, nah. yeah, if you're a motherfucking meme, you're a bully. <laughs> <laughs> no, I loved Matt from Encino, man. I, I saw the did... movie. I just didn't remember it. Whatever. Well, and Draco <laughs> Malfoy actually finished right below Scott Farkas. I mean, I thought Draco Malfoy just, I mean, he was the baddest dude in uh, Harry Potter. I mean, but I think he is also uh, a little misunderstood. He was trying to find himself, and I think... That was kind of what lowered that, it. That is a hot take on Draco oh, yeah. Malfoy. Yeah, Damn. I, I like just a it, piece of I shit think... with piece of shit parents. But <laughs> he was, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely was, like I said, misunderstood. He was just trying to find his place, That's and right. he thought he, being he, bad he was, was the way to home. go. That's so I'm yeah. curious, curious about Stifler. Do you think that was a reach at two? Stifler was not even a reach for me. I didn't even think that Stifler was much of a bully. I thought he was an asshole, but I didn't so, think he was much. So, of a bully. so it was a reach. So he shouldn't have been. He, picked. he shouldn't yeah, have yeah. even been picked, honestly. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I thought Stifler was just an ultimate reach, and I I didn't think anything of it. To, Everybody was, hated Stifler. Yeah. Well, I loved Stifler as he is an asshole. He's not a bully. I that's kind of yeah, he's I, a that's bully. Those kids that show up at the door and he he just laughs in their face. That's a bully. No, that's, that's just no. somebody who has bad taste. Yeah. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I don't I don't know how our definition is. Because of, if anything, the door and laughing at people's faces I'm, and shutting it, that's bullying. No, it's not. It's you know just what? being an asshole. You're, right? bu- you're bullying right now. <laughs> so I, I know I'm supposed to be drinking grenadine and not talking, but Zach talks all the time in third place. Um, I'll, I'm just going to say that all five of mine are actual bullies, and Brad doesn't have all, all right. bullies on his list. Well, that's on <laughs> you were five points no, behind me. Is, that's yeah. fine. Uh, yeah. Catherine, cool, cruel intentions. What do you think about Catherine? I love Catherine as a bully. I mean, she basically played the game. I mean, she, you know, like, I mean, she played Selma Blair's character to a T. Uh, she used her brother. All right. It was just, I mean, it was just nasty the way she went. Didn't find my top half, obviously. Why? It was not in the top half? It's not in the top half. She is a cruel piece of work. She is a cruel piece of work, but there is an ultimate bitch. All right. And that would be Regina George. Regina George. Of George of oh, which I decided girls. not to take because I was like, I'm not going to pander. That's right. Well, I don't know. I why said that pan- specifically. Why is that, not, why is that pandering? Because I know you're going to take no it. There is no pandering because Nick, Nate never even talked to me about this. I'm I'm not ta- sure, I don't know like, what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. There was <laughs> nothing <laughs> happening. I, I, with Brad's on. definition of pandering is just me drafting well. <laughs> when you guys were out there creating your little book at the lake today. I mean, geez. Right. So let's, so, uh, let's go down the fucking uh, yeah, apparent no, no, winner. Yeah, go, right, right, go ahead and tell us who was on Team 1. Enough nonsense. Team 1, Biff Tannen, was actually number one on my list. Yeah, he was. All right, on and that list. was already, I mean, that was already a given. Automatic. Right? Automatic. Biff Tannen was number one on the list. Uh, Regina George was number three on my list. Two right. in the top five already. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. My, my biggest regret is not taking her second. I, I looked at it and didn't. Yep. Yeah. I went for the comedy and I, I no. shut myself Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, there was a comedy. Funny. She was pretty funny, but at the same I time, know. I was like, she was the ultimate bitch of any of this 100%. list. Yeah. Uh, Fred O'Banion, oh my God, that guy was Good call. crazy as shit and dazed and confused. Where, would he, where was he on your list? Super he senior. Actually Super ne- senior. Oh, uh, he um, actually, Buzz McAllister finished one place ahead of him. Okay, so they were at Buzz was, Buzz was five. All right, now now you run into some problems with Scotch Scotch Beck and myself. Buzz Buzz is a brother, an older brother who's just a jerk to his younger brother. I straight up told you. Where do we see Buzz bully anybody else besides his younger brother? But you, oh, oh, I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> but I, just, I straight I up know. said, I, I go, look, it's going to go one of two ways. He's either going to accept the brother or the, or the the relationship as a bully, or he's not. And he did, and he, he did. I, I knew yeah. he was going to destroy. He, so yeah. right. because in my the, opinion, the same thing applies to Chet. To Chet, I mean, I f- Chet. Chet is amazing. Chet, Chet is so Chet. good <laughs> in weird science. But if you're talking about bullies, the correct bullies from weird science. 
is Ian and Max. Okay, so now that he, he he's back to his grenadine. So, <laughs> so let me ask you this. Where did Chet finish? He, Chet, Chet finished in the lower part of my Okay, bracket. Okay, what, what number? Uh, that was number 11. Okay, so I had numbers out of 15. I got 1, 3, 5, 6, and 11. Who's counting? Is that an all-time best draft? I mean, I, <laughs> Considering I, no I, judges have ever done this scoring I, system before, I, I would say... <laughs> It's happened once. I would say. I would say. I would say so I, we know I won this draft, but did I, the question I want to pose? It's a philosophical one. Did I just win all the drafts? Did I just set like an all? Am I draft wrong, record? or did he also win when Tony's wife was on the pod as well? I, I don't know anything about that. All the people that Nate invite, invites on all the pod, know, they just happen to you know choose all, Nate first. All I know is that I think I might have just broken the draft. Some people break the internet. I break the draft right by. Paying money to folks to show up and draft. I mean, you know them, what? Yeah. You tell yourself whatever story you need to go to sleep <laughs> tonight, buddy. All right. So no, but 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 you. What, what do you think about the whole family dynamic? Is that is that a bully if you're just picking on your little brothers? As far as Buzz McAllister, yes, and Chet as well. Chet as well, yes. I mean, the thing is, is that okay? Like, let's take my brother for instance. All right, my brother. He's he he knows it. He's a complete asshole. All right, and the thing is, <laughs> I love it. You love it, right? Well, the thing is, is that he treated me like absolute shit when we were growing up. He's the jock. He was like, he was the big old track star. Me, I was the big fat nerd doing choir and theater in a parochial school. Okay, All so right. this this hits home. You this sound like a dude I want to hang out with, actually. I'm just saying. Oh, just that's that cool, man. There. Yes, awesome. <laughs> yes, we should hang out soon. But yes, it basically, it does hit home for me. I you know? So you were just like, I see, you saw your brother. I saw was, my it, brother in Buzz McAllister. Who bullied, right? who bullied you? Yeah. I mean, the I only say, word to describe yes. it. Oh, you wouldn't say it's bullying? <laughs> Is that what yes. you just it about would, said? Oh, Brad. Oh, oh, you, 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 you still exactly got sour bullying. grapes, man. I, 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 you know what? My favorite part of the pot is, is when Brad actually gets frustrated that he loses. It's like, I, it, it, you know, it's like, it's like I win twice when that happens. It's you know? truth. It is I, true. I win, and then I, I get to watch Brad melt down. It's just yeah. beautiful. Zach's going to be just cackling. When he's like, oh, upset Brad, upset well, Brad. Yes, for, for, exactly. the, for the record, at the same time we sent the results to Tony, we also sent them to Zach. And what did he say? Quote, team one in a landslide. What All the th- fuck does he know? <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the, the worst track record on drafting ever. <laughs> All right. So that was the most memorable bullies draft. Tony, thanks for coming on, man. Oh, it was definitely an absolute blast. So thanks. You, you did Angus with us. You did God, the, yes. the, the bullies draft. Yes. You're, 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 you're now part of the BVK family, and we couldn't be happier to have you. Uh, I absolutely enjoyed it. It was definitely an absolute pleasure and absolutely uh, like a total surprise to actually get to talk with Charlie Talbert. Yeah, it was dude. fucking yeah. awesome. Love really cool. every moment of that. <laughs> I mean, if you want to have me back, I'd love to be on it. Just talk tell other movies. Just tell us about what some of your other favorite movies are. We'll just oh, get those actors absolutely. on next. Cool. I will when, when we do our tour, and we'll, we'll come around, we'll probably hit Maryland. Uh, we'll probably hit Baltimore for our, our East Coast tour. I would say, oh, yeah, yeah, let's we'll do probably, it in book, my we'll backyard. We've we'll we got a dates. giant backyard. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah the BVK uh, Baltimore Outdoor Studio. Yeah. We'll oh, yeah, totally out there. One of those super humid nights. So, so I believe, Brad. Next week, you are finally going to do some editing, and we are we are going to give you a taken pod, folks. So. We did we did five episodes. We went down to LA back in March, and and we did five episodes while we we're down there. And there's still one that has not come out. It's yet. in the vault that Brad's finally vault. going to unleash and on the world. Yeah, I'm finally going to edit it and put it together. So there might be some references to things that happened that sound like ancient uh, uh, that we have that we. That was March? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Christ. March. Yeah. <laughs> There's probably some references in there that won't make any sense whatsoever, but that's all right. And uh, enjoy it because we're talking about uh, uh, a great quotable line that Nate's going to butcher right now for us. What's the line? <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Something about finding somebody. A special set of skills. Special set of skills. Oh, you mean because I have a special set of skills that people like you really don't like <laughs> is that the line i think that is the line that's great we'll go with it <laughs> yeah anyway. taken pod coming out next week uh and and we will have actually a special 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 guest on that one right nate extra special yeah <laughs> <laughs> thanks for listening uh and and please you know share us listen to us tell your friends about us you know i don't do other things that 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 Put the VVK out in the world. Bye bye. I want to be at Beverly's bringing me home with my movies. Just if I'm blind, no reason why. I love this scene. It makes I can brag your favorite podcast.
castle, the start.